Hey everyone, my name is Anne and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be crocheting this bell sleeved cardigan. I'll be making a small here, but this video contains sizing instructions for X small to 3X large. But here are the supplies that you'll be needing. So to begin on this pattern, I have over here my 5.5 millimeter hook and my category 4 yarn. I'm going to quickly go ahead and make a slip knot, and you can do this any way you would like. But from here, make a chain of 53. But since I have included sizes X small to 3X large in this video, the different number of chains you'll be making will be indicated right up at the top. But so basically, for size X small, make a chain of 49. For size small, the one that I'm making, chain 53. For medium, 59. For large, 65. X large, 71. 2X large, 77. And then 3X large would be 83 chains. But again, I am making a small, so I'll go ahead and chain 53. And to do that, just yarn over, pull through, yarning over, and pulling through, just like Insert your hook into this third chain, yarning over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and pull through two, into the next chain, doing this again, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarning over, pulling through two. From here, you just want to double crochet into each chain across. Beginning on row 2, skip this first stitch and insert our hook into the second stitch. We will front bar double crochet. And to do that, yarn over, insert your hook into that second stitch, only into this front bar, so leaving this back bar completely empty. Yarn over, pull through, pull through 2, pull through 2. Doing this front bar double crochet again, yarning over. Insert your hook only into this front bar, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. So as you can see, we have left these back bars completely empty. Now you just want to front bar double crochet into each stitch across your row until you have one stitch remaining at the end. front bar double crochets and I have one stitch at the end of my row remaining and to this last stitch we will do one regular double crochet so just yarning over inserting my hook into this top chain pull through pull through two pull through two chain two from here and that chain two does count as our first stitch 
To finish up our back panel, you want to repeat this row, which is row two, until you have a total of 26 rows. I have, of course, indicated the amount of rows you'll be doing for each size right above, but I'm going to work up my 26 rows and then I'll meet you guys back. So I am back here with my back panel. I have 26 rows in total, and this is what my work is looking like so far. So now we're not going to cut and fasten off. We're actually going to continue from the front panel right from here. So let's go ahead and get started on that. So beginning on our front panel, I have already chained two and turned my work. Beginning into the second stitch, we will front bar double crochet into 15 stitches across our row. Once you have your 15 front bar double crochet stitches and to the 16th stitch, do one regular double crochet. From here, chain two and flip your work around. Now beginning row two, we will increase. So instead of working into this second stitch, we're actually gonna work into this first stitch with a front bar double crochet. So right into this first stitch here. So you should have two double crochets into this first stitch. Now just front bar double crochet into each stitch across until you have one stitch remaining. into this last stitch, double crochet. Chain two and flip your work around. For row, for row three, we're gonna do another increase. So beginning into this second stitch, front bar double crochet into each stitch across until you have one stitch remaining. Once you have this one stitch at the end of your row, we're gonna work two double crochets into this one stitch. So this is my first double crochet, and then right back into the same stitch, double crochet twice for our increase. Just like this, chain two, and then just turn your work around. Now to continue this pattern, you want to go ahead and repeat row two and row three with those two increase rows until you have a total of 11 rows. So I'm going to meet you back once I am all done with my increases and then I'll show you the next steps. So I am back here with my 11 increase rows, repeating row two and row three. From here, the rest of our panel is really simple. We're just going to do our regular rows doing no increases, just starting into that second stitch, front bar double crochet into each stitch across until you have one stitch remaining, and then double crochet into that last stitch. But doing those regular rows as we were doing before until you have a total of 26 rows. So I'm just going to quickly work up these, the rest of our 26 rows, and then I will meet you back to cut and fasten off. So I am back here with my 26 rows, the first 11 of which were increases, and then the rest were just regular rows. So now we pretty much have to do the same thing on the opposite side over here, but it's gonna be a little bit different, but let's go ahead and get started on the opposite side over here. Now beginning on our front panel, part two, 
make a slip knot. From here, we're going to insert our hook into the 21st stitch from our first worked stitch. So what that means is that from this first worked stitch, we're going to count 21 stitches across. So starting with this, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then this is 21. And insert your hook right in there. Now slip stitch to secure. So yarn over, pull through, chain two, which counts as our first stitch, and turn your work around. Beginning into this second stitch, front bar double crochet into each stitch across and then double crochet into the last stitch. And you should have a total of 16 stitches, just as we did for the opposite side. From here, chain two, turn your work around. For row two, we're going to start into the second stitch, front bar double crochet into each stitch across until we have one stitch remaining for that increase. And just as I mentioned before, I have this one stitch remaining and we're going to work two double crochets into this last stitch. That's the first double crochet and then back into the same stitch for a second double crochet. So this is our increase. Chain two and turn your work around. For row three, we're going to do another increase except into the first stitch. So instead of starting into the second stitch, beginning into the first stitch, front, front bar double crochet, right into this first stitch. So you should have worked two double crochets. Now front, front bar double crochet into each stitch across and then double crochet into the last stitch. From here, chain two and turn your work around. Now, similar to what we did last time, we're going to repeat row two and row three with those increases until you have a total of 11 rows. So I'm gonna quickly work up my increases and then I'll meet you guys back when I'm all done. I have my 11 increase rows all done. Now from here, you probably guessed it, we're going to stop doing these increases and just repeat doing our regular rows as we were doing before until we have a total of 26 rows to finish up our front panel. So I'm just going to do those regular rows until I have 26 rows and then I will see you guys back shortly. So I am back here with my front panel. I have 26 rows in total, and I did cut and fasten off once I have reached the end. So now we're gonna go ahead and begin on seaming our front and back panels together. So to seam our bodices, I have a tapestry needle with some extra yarn woven through it. So I'm gonna turn my bodices to the side and now beginning into this very bottom corner, we're going to seam our panels together until we have six and a half inches from the top unseamed, and that's gonna leave room for our armhole. But just to show you how to seam this together, I will insert my tapestry needle right into the corner and then into the corner of the opposite side, pull straight through here, and then coming back around into the next two stitches, inserting it into the front and back panel, going straight through, pulling through. Doing 
doing this again coming right around into the next two stitches right across pull through making sure to tighten it up as you go along here but I'm going to continue doing my whip stitch across my bodice until there's six and a half inches from the top and then I'll see you guys back So I just finished working down my two side panels until I had six and a half inches from the top for our armhole. And then once you have this one side done, you want to do the same process for the opposite side as well. So I'm just going to quickly do that same thing and then I will meet you guys back. I have just finished up seaming my bodices and then once I was done with all of the seaming, I just flipped my entire cardigan inside out to hide all of the seams. So now once that is all done, we're going to go ahead and get started on the sleeves over here. So let's get started on that. So beginning on the sleeve. I will go ahead and make a slip knot and then insert my hook right into the seam of our armhole. I'm just going to insert my hook right into the seam and a slip stitch to secure. So yarn over, pull through to secure. From here, we're going to do a foundation row of single crochets. And when you work these side rows, you want to put two single crochets into each double crochet row. So I'm just going to show you what that would look like. So chain one to begin, and that chain one does not count as our first stitch. So beginning into this first row, single crochet. And then putting another single crochet into this next loop. So now we have two single crochets for this first row. Looking at this next double crochet row, again two single crochets. That's our first one. And then here's the second one. Into this next row. First double, first single crochet and then the second single crochet. And now you just want to work these side single crochets coming all the way along our armhole. Then I'm going to meet you back at the end to join it. So I have just finished working around my armhole with these single crochets. And to join this foundation row, slip stitch into this first stitch to begin row one chain two and that chain two does count as our first double crochet now inserting your hook into this second stitch you simply want to work these front bar double crochets into each stitch all the way around your armhole Once you have made it to the end of your row, to join, slip stitch into the second or top stitch. From here, chain two. Moving on to row two, this is going to be our decrease row. So beginning into the second stitch from our hook, we're going to do a double crochet decrease. Yarn over. Insert your hook into the second stitch into this front bar, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over once again, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, pull through two, 
and then pull through three. And that's how we're gonna do our decreases for the rest of the pattern. From here, front bar double crochet into each stitch around your armhole until you have three stitches at the end remaining. So I have finished working around my armhole until I have three stitches at the end remaining. And to these next two stitches, we're going to once again do a front bar double crochet decrease. So to do that, yarn over, insert your hook into this next front bar, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over once again, insert your hook into that next stitch, pull through, pull through two, and then pull through three to finish. Now into the very last stitch, front bar double crochet, and to join each row, slip stitch into the top or second stitch of this row, chain two, and then turn your work. Now to continue this pattern, you want to repeat alternating row one and row two with that decrease row until you have a total of 12 rows. But again, you should basically be decreasing every other row into the first and last stitches. But yeah, I'm going to work up my 12 decreases, but I'm going to work up my 12 rows and then I'll see you guys back. So this is what my work is looking like after 12 rows, doing a decrease row every other row. So now from row 12 to row 16, we're going to stop doing that decrease row, which is row 2, and, can, and just repeat row 1 until we again have 16 rows. So I'm just going to quickly work up those regular rows and then I'll meet you guys back soon. So I am back here with my 16 rows in total, and I have 30 stitches. From here, we're going to work on the fun part, which is the flared sleeve at the end. So beginning on our flared section, chain two, turn your work around, into this second stitch, front bar double crochet, Now into this next stitch, we're going to do a front bar double crochet increase. So we're just going to work two front bar double crochets into this next stitch. So that's the first one and then right into the same stitch for an increase. Now front bar double crochet into the next two stitches. Into the third stitch, do another increase as we did over here. So two front bar double crochets. Into the same stitch again. Now continue working two front bar double crochets and then, a, and then an increase into the third stitch until you've worked into, until you've worked all the way around your armhole. And then I'll meet you back to come and join it. So I am almost done working around this increase row. Into this last stitch, you should be able to evenly end on an increase, which I'll just do right here. Then as always, slip stitch into the top chain to join. Chain two, turn your work around. Now our next row is just a repeat row of row one. So just a regular row of front bar double crochets into each stitch around and then slip stitch into that top chain to join. Then I will meet you back to do another increase row. And so I just finished up that regular row. I worked all the way around. Now chaining two, turn your work. And for row three, we're going to do another increase row, except this will be a little bit different. So into this second chain, we're going to front bar double, or sorry, front bar double crochet into two stitches. That's our first. And then the second. Now into the next stitch, an increase. And then back into the same stitch. 
Now we will front bar double crochet into three stitches and then increase into the fourth stitch. So this is one, two, three, and then into this fourth stitch, increase. Just like this. And now you probably guessed it, you just want to repeat this pattern doing three front bar double crochets, increase into the fourth stitch, into each stitch around, and then I'll meet you guys back once I reach the end. So I have just finished up that increase row, doing an increase in every fourth stitch. Now moving on to row four, we're just going to do a regular row of front bar double crochets, just as we did last time. But I'm going to meet you back for that fifth row, which will be another increase row. But yeah, I'll see you guys soon. So I just finished up that quick row of regular front bar double crochets. Chain two and turn your work. Now beginning into this second stitch, we're going to do another increase row. So into the second stitch, work three front bar double crochets. That's one, two, and here is my third one. Now into the next stitch, increase. Into the next four stitches, work four front bar double crochets. So here's one, two, three, and four. Into the fifth stitch, increase again. Now to continue this pattern, work four front bar double crochets and increase into the fifth stitch all the way around your sleeve and then I'll meet you guys back to join it once again. So I just finished up at that increase row, doing an increase into every fifth stitch. And now, so far, what we have done for the first row, we did an increase into every third stitch, then one regular row. For the next row, we did an increase into every fourth stitch, and then a regular row. And then for this row, we did an increase into every fifth stitch. So now you want to continue this pattern until you have a total of 12 rows. So for the next row, we would do one regular front bar double crochet row. And then for the next increase row, do an increase every sixth stitch, and then a regular row, then an increase into every seventh stitch, and every seventh stitch, until you have a total of 12 rows for your flared sleeve. So I'm going to work up my increase rows and my regular rows until I have those 12 rows, and then I will see you guys back shortly. So I am back here with my 12 rows for our flared sleeve. And now that is all done, we're not gonna cut and fasten off just yet, but we're gonna move on to working our border. So let's go ahead and get started on that. So the border for our sleeve is really simple. It's only gonna be one row. But to begin this, chain one. And that does not count as our first stitch. So beginning into this first stitch, single crochet. Now we will skip the next stitch and work four double crochets into the next. So to work a double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook into both of these loops, pull through, pull through two, and pull through two. So that's our first double crochet, and we have three more to go. That's two, three, and here is four. Now skip the next stitch and single crochet into the next stitch. We're going to do the same thing as we did over here, work four double crochets. That's our first, second double crochet, third double crochet, and here's the fourth one. 
once again skip the next stitch single crochet and now you want to repeat this pattern of our border coming all the way around here and it should go in evenly and then I will meet you back at the end once I am all done but I'm going to do this with you guys one more time so into the next stitch four double crochets After that four double crochets, skip a stitch, single crochet, and again, just doing this all the way around your border, and then I will meet you back when I'm all done. So my edge is all done. I slip stitch into that first stitch to join this row, and then I cut and fastened off. So now we're going to do the same edge, but working across the front panel. So let's go ahead and get started on that. So now we're going to begin continuing that edge that we did for the sleeve onto the bottom. So I'm going to first make a slip knot. From here, insert your hook into the corner. You can do either side. Insert your hook and then slip stitch to secure. And now we're going to work a foundation row of single crochets coming all the way around the edge until you reach the opposite corner. But just beginning into this first stitch, single crochet. And just continue single crocheting into each stitch until you meet the end. After you have finished the foundation row, chain one and turn your work around. Into this first stitch, single crochet skip the next stitch and then work work four double crochets into the next from here skip the next stitch single crochet once again into those five double crochets into the next stitch And then skip a stitch, single crochet, and just like last time, repeat this border coming all the way along your edge until you have reached the end. So I have just finished working my border all the way around. I cut and fastened off once I reached the end. And then now we're going to work our edging coming ar around here and then to the end. So to get started on that section, I have my hook. I made a slip knot. And all you want to do is just insert your hook right into the corner. Slip stitch to secure chain one and when you're working along the double crochet side rows you want to work two single crochets per row so just to get you started into this first stitch we're just going to single crochet into the next stitch single crochet and then onto this first row we're going to work two single crochets that's one and then let's do one over here two single crochets for that one row again two single crochets just as i am doing right here and and so you just want to continue this single crochet for our foundation row coming up and over until you reach the opposite end and then i will let me back once i'm all done So after you have made it all the way around with this foundation row of single crochets, you have probably guessed the next step, but we're just going to do that same border pattern with the four double crochets, just giving a stitch, single crochet, all the way around here until you reach the end. I've already done this twice with you guys, so I'm just going to quickly work up that shell border and then I'll see you guys back soon.
Alrighty guys, so I am back here with my border. I cut and fastened off once I reached the end. And now that is pretty much the end of our project. The last step you would need to do is just weave in all of your loose ends. But yeah, that is the end of the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. If you bought this pattern, it would be super helpful if you left a positive review. But bye!